You are a model for your own child's behavior. Use positive language. It works. Tell your kids what you want to do instead of what you don't want them to do. Instead of stop shouting, try please speak more quietly. With the emergence of this pandemic, this is really a stressful time. But you have to keep calm. Remember, you are not alone. You are feeling stressed or angry? Take a break. We all need a break sometimes. Give yourself a pause. Breathe in, breathe out. Throughout the years, there have been countless studies conducted on child neglect and child abuse on its long-term impact on social, emotional, and even physical development in adolescents. A common conclusion found in many of these studies reveals adolescents who have grown up witnessing violence in their homes or in their communities have a higher likelihood of suffering from long-term emotional, physical, and mental trauma. These children will suffer with difficulties associated with attachment regressive behavior, anxiety and depression, aggression, and conduct problems. Additionally, victims of abuse may be more prone to dating violence, delinquency, further victimization, and involvement with child welfare and juvenile justice system. Overall, children who witness violence at a young age become desensitized to the violence and many times will integrate this behavior into their own attitudes when relating to others. Child abuse is defined as any act or series of acts, commission or omission, by a parent, other caregivers, such as the coach, teachers, or clergy, that results in harm or threat to a child. While a few of those children who experience abuse as a child may grow up as serial killers, for the most part, abused children do not develop this extreme response to childhood abuse. However, some do. And it is for this reason that one must understand the types of childhood abuse and how each form of abuse may physically, emotionally, and psychologically affect or traumatize a child for the rest of his or her life. Physical abuse in which force is deliberately used against a child in such a way that the child is either injured or is at risk of being injured. In situations of physical abuse, the child may be subjected to beating, hitting, shaking, pushing, beating, choking, burning, kicking, being held underwater, or genital mutilation. The long-term effects of being physically abused as a child depend on the severity of the abuse, the ability of the child to cope up with the abuse, the availability of support system for the child to turn to for support or help, and several other factors. Children who are physically abused are more likely to encounter physical, psychological, behavioral, academic, sexual, interpersonal, self-perception, or spiritual consequences as a result of childhood abuse. For the psychological abuse, its impact to those individuals who have experienced neglect or abuse tend to employ different methods for handling the abuse. While depression, suicidal thoughts, antisocial disorders, and many other forms of psychological consequences exist for the victims of neglect or abuse, research has discovered additional roles which may lead to further risks associated with previously mentioned forms of abuse. Gender is one of such risks. According to the research funded by, by the Guardian Department of Justice and conducted by the Victims of Violence Organization, female victims tend to internalize and are more prone to self-esteem, suicidal thoughts, eating disorders, or other psychological disorders. Boys, on the other hand, 
are more likely to externalize their abuse by becoming more aggressive and violent towards others. There have been countless studies showing how detrimental early childhood abuse can be on child's development and how it may lead to antisocial behavior, increased violence, and numerous additional symptoms. There are numerous methods of disciplining a child when she or he misbehaves, but none quite as controversial as physically harming a child. While many parents who spank their misbehaving child do so in a calmer which is more startling than harmful, even this can have long-term psychological impacts on a young child's development. Para sa mga parents, bantayan po natin na kahit na high blood na po tayo, tingnan po pa rin natin ang ating limit. Kung sakali man, habaan natin ang pasensya natin. Minsan ganun talaga, hindi naman agad-agad nakukuha ng mga anak natin ang ating mga itinuturo or yung nasa module. So, mag-ingat pa rin tayo. Baka nagsisigaw na tayo dyan dahil sa hindi lang makuha agad ng mga anak natin yung module or yung itinuturo natin. Habahan pa rin natin ang ating pasensya. Huwag na tayong, huwag tayong umabot 